But there are two brands that make the test strips. There's AquaCheck and there's HTH. They both make pretty good strips to test the water. Uh, they, they can supplement the regular standard test kits. And both brands have the color chart built into the bottle and you just put the strip next to it to match it up. HTC is a little easier. It's all one in the back of the container whereas the AquaCheck is kind of circular and you got to move it a little bit to read it. Okay, so you just dip the strip in to the middle of the pool and you lay it flat for 15 seconds. You don't want to shake off any excess water. You can just set the HTC one right here and you can compare really easily the colors. The AquaCheck's a little bit harder with the rolling cylinder, but you get the idea. So it does test for cyanuric acid condition, or total alkalinity, pH, free chlorine, and total hardness. And the AquaCheck actually has one extra test on theirs, which is the total chlorine. And you take that reading from the total chlorine and the free chlorine and you'll get your combined chlorine reading. And it actually tells you, just by looking at the chart, if your total chlorine is okay. And you don't want any combined chlorine in your pool. That's the cloudiness and the burning of the eyes and the ammonia smell. And the Taylor kit does just about everything the test strip does. It does the combined chlorine and the regular standard OTO uh, test just does the free chlorine, active chlorine reading, and the pH. And one thing you're going to need the standard test kit for is for the acid demand test. Both the Taylor kit and the regular Pool Master 5 way test kit both do the acid demand. Uh, the test, test strips, however, do not do that. And it's very important if you want to keep your pH in balance and know how much acid they add. So I'm going to do the pH acid demand test so you can see what I'm talking about. And the standard test kit showing the pH about 7.8, 8.0. It comes with a solution that you actually drop in there and count the drops until the color changes to roughly 7.2 to 7.4, the ideal range of the pH. And so this one took two drops to get it to change. And then you just get your pool volume. You gotta know your pool volume, of course. It comes with a chart. And so this pool is about 15,000 gallons. Two drops means I put one and a half pints of acid in to lower the pH down to the level. And that's why it's important to have a standard test kit also along with the test strips. If you're going to use the test strips, you definitely want to have a standard test kit for acid demand and this to check the chemicals. I would prefer you testing your pool with a regular OTO uh, drop test and get a more accurate reading. And we're looking at about 1.0 to 2.0 in chlorine here. It's not to say that the test strips aren't accurate, but you have to actually read the color carefully to get a good reading and you know human error is involved in that and reading the color chart. Whereas this kit, the color spectrum is really broad from really light yellow to dark orange so it's much easier to read. So the best one is the Taylor test kit with their alkalinity has it starts with a green and then as you add reagent number nine you can actually see the color changing. and that gives you the alkalinity perfect. You can see right there it stops when it changes to a bright red from a green. So this one's reading alkalinity directly, exactly at 80 parts per million. And again, the strip showing that the alkalinity is probably around 80 to 120. It's actually right between both readings. So again, a regular uh, test kit is more accurate if you want an exact read. So I would definitely recommend the AquaCheck test strips over the HTH. Uh, just because it has the total chlorine reading, which will give you a combined chlorine in your pool. And HTH is pretty good, but it lacks that one reading that is kind of vital if you're going to use strips to test your pool. And again, I would recommend a standard test kit also to test for acid demand and to get a more accurate chlorine reading. And the test strips are good because they do a, a quick reading of your pool and they'll give you a ballpark figure on everything pretty close. And also it gives you the cyanuric acid test really easily and the total water hardness.